it's totally inappropriate for the NRA to have posted that picture. It's giving the someone who's unbalanced seeing that picture. That's really giving them ammunition to do something that the NRA is subliminally telling them to do. Did you feel threatened? Is that your word? Yeah. Yes, I think anyone seeing the, their picture posted in that manner, and especially in the climate that we're currently living in, will feel threatened. And, I, and I, again, it's 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 inappropriate for them to do that. If they are if they are so concerned about legislation that we are proposing, why not reach out to us and try to speak with us? You know, if we're on the wrong, if they think we're going heading in the wrong direction, come on, tell us that. Say what? Where do you intend to go with this? Don't make threats across the internet, and that's what they've done. The language calling what you're proposing an asinine law, saying you you know next to nothing. When you when you bring up, you know, you would have liked to have had a dialogue, perhaps, with the NRA. So now that you've come out and been vocal uh, about this photo, what have you heard back in response from them? Nothing. Their 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 followers continue to send. Uh, emails and and and, and tweets, um, just tell, giving negative comments. It's it's we're living in a society where, and especially in my district, where there's a, an increase in gun violence. It is our obligation to take care of our communities, and and this is one step in taking care of our community. How do we prevent gun violence from escalating? We do not want it to continue. Limiting the amount of ammunition someone can purchase is the first step. It's not it's not going to end violence by any means. But it will prevent an, uh, mass shootings from occurring.